This is Andrea. She's been coming here for two and a half years. Her entire life, there's been a generational curse of in her family that she was not able to speak to her brothers and her sisters. She came here. She began sewing. She began believing. She would come up to the altar, receive prayer. She would go to the house of peace, receive prayer, until all of a sudden, God did a miracle. This past Sunday, all her brothers and her sisters got together for the first time over and over six years since her dad passed. That's not it, Dad. Since she came here two and a half years ago, she was working for Miami Dade Public Schools. For six years, nothing happened. She got connected here. She began giving. She began receiving prayer. She began fasting. Then all of a sudden, she received a call from Miami Dade Public Schools saying, look, we don't know. We are going to give you this job. $10,000 increase in her job. Wait, it, it doesn't end there. Then all of a sudden, they called her six months later, and then they gave her another promotion. She was believing that she was going to have to go to school, but God did the miracle in her life. Come on, daughter, tell me. Well, I actually work for a nonprofit organization with youth that are on probation. I was working for Dade County Public Schools for six years. The next morning, that Monday, someone called me. My cousin recommended for me for a job, a $10,000 pay increase. I was working for the, the company called Eckert for six months. I got another position for transition coordinator working directly with youth that are on probation. Um, supernaturally, my family, I had an event. I launched my outreach ministry last Sunday of women and youth that are in fifth through ninth grade that are hurting. I had three souls saved, and women, even pastor's wife, have been calling, saying they've been restored. Come on! And that God is working, so, so I thank God, God for you. So you restore your family? Yes, my family, God. my mom and I, my dad passed six years ago, and we literally were about to fight. I could not talk to my mom and my sister. It was a generational curse of witchcraft and everything. But Sunday, and through the last year and a half, my mom and I call each other, tell her that we love each other. She comes to the ministry. My sister comes here. Come on, and Lord. God is just awesome. He's just Yay! doing it. Yes. Jesus, put your hands together. Thank you. So this young man, his name is Thomas. He's a student in FIU in communications. Since the fast starting, he says that the Spirit of God came to him and he has become a radical giver. He gave and gave and gave mm. until he could give no more. Last week, the Holy Spirit said, I want you to give more. He was hurt. He was crying. But he said, I'm going to obey the Holy Spirit. I'm going to give more. As soon as he gave more, he went home and he received an email from FIU saying, we have extra money to give to you towards a scholarship for your tuition. Wow. This is the first testimony right here. Yeah, tell me, son. Yeah, um, I want to give honor to you because what you preach is what we have to practice. Yes. And last week, the Lord put it on my heart to give an offering. And it was all that I had because during the mm. fast, I was giving and giving. And the following Monday morning, before I woke up, mm -hmm. I received an email from my college institution, FIU, saying that they had extra money added onto my scholarship wow. and that wow. it's been awarded to me. Come on, come on. And her testimony is on finance. She started two years ago as a cashier in Walmart, making $9 an hour. Two years later, she got three promotions, and now she's making not, not, not $9 an hour, she is making $25 an hour, and she's an assistant manager in less than two years. God did it. But, but you, you did, wait, wait, wait a minute. But you didn't tell me what is behind it. Nothing just happened. Okay, tell me, daughter. Dad, I'm a sore of this house. Come on, yes. I'm a believer of this house. I stand on God's word. Come on. I don't be moved Come. by what I see. I walk by faith and not by sight. God is supernatural. For all of you going through financial trouble, trust in God because he is your supplier. He supplies every one of your needs. He's supernatural. Come on. Okay, I want you to speak to those people that are watching over there. To all, all, the single, all those single women. To all the single Come women. Come on, daughter. Never give up on God Come because on. God will not give up on you. Come on. Get out of the dead churches. Come to a live church and let God do a miracle in your life. Let him put a fire in you that will never go out. In the name of Jesus, he's your supplier. He will give you everything you need. He will give you the husband, the job, the promotion, everything you need. I am a witness. He is risen. 
Apostle, this family started coming to King Jesus in 2015. At the end of 2015, they accepted Christ. Their marriage was not okay. It was falling apart. His wife was pregnant with the baby here that she's holding, and she said, Lord, there's got to be something greater. I'm believing for a miracle. You made a calling for people who had cysts. She was told when the baby was in her womb that there was a cyst on her brain. She passed to the front. One of your Ephesians prayed for her. She gave birth. The baby was healed. From that point, she said, Lord, I'm believing for something greater. They started praying for their marriage. They went to the marriage retreat this year in June, and their marriage was completely restored. Wow. Wow. So tell me something. Our marriage was a shambles. Um, we came to King Jesus, and it turned around 180 degrees. What was the condition of your marriage? Unfaithfulness. Wow. And we have been restored 100%. The marriage retreat turned us around. We've got a beautiful daughter. Wow. She came sick with the cyst and then the Lord healed her. Yes. Daughter, tell me. She, they told me that at six months, they told me she has a cyst in her brain. Um, you know, we'll wait when she's born. And when she was born, the cyst disappeared. When I brought her here, they prayed for her, and I believed she was going to be healed, and she was. Tell me, um, what kind of husband did you have before, and now what you have now? I had an excellent husband until, you know, life happened, I guess. And now it's, it's better, much better. God is in our life. God is first in everything we do. God is first in our marriage. He is our guidance through raising our kids and being together as a marriage. Put your hands together, people. If you were touched by the program today, please call or write to us now. Our operators are standing by. There is only one name that the angels cry out of creation to show the Ashur. Sure. 